You're back. <sighs> Surprise. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, welcome home. It's good to see you. When'd you get back? Uh, about an hour ago. Something happened on your trip? Lots happened. But if you're asking me why I cut my trip short, it just seemed like a good time to come home. You know, when I said don't burn the place down, I didn't mean touch nothing. <laughs> this place looks exactly like it did when I left. Well, minus the dumbbells. Yeah, I guess I'm more of an exerciser than a decorator. You okay? Yeah, I just, um, I didn't expect to find my old place looking like I never left it. it feels like I just stepped back into my old life. Yeah, but you did, you, you went on this journey, right? Eat, pray, love? That was the plan. <laughs> So did you? I ate, I prayed, and I loved every minute of it. Well, good. Then the only thing that hasn't changed is your apartment. Yeah. But now that I'm back, it just feels like all this belongs to somebody else. Yeah. So how are you doing? Are you enjoying your time in Port Charles? I wouldn't say that. Why not? Come on, what's wrong? I don't Look, Nathan, I realize that we barely know each other, but if you want to talk about it... Could take a while. That's fine. I've been working on being more present, so I'm a pretty decent listener. I had to arrest someone. Oh, you're a cop. Yeah, I, I didn't mention that when I moved in. No, no. I mean, I was pretty crazy self-absorbed, but I'm a cop. I would have remembered that. Is that going to be a problem? No, no, not at all. But look, we're getting off topic now, so I'm going to refocus us. You said you had to arrest someone. Yeah, not just... Why is that a problem, though? I mean, my stepfather was police commissioner when I was growing up, so I know firsthand that arresting people is, like, part of your job. Yes, you have to serve and protect and sometimes rescue people and every once in a while perform crowd control, but putting the bad guys behind bars is part of your job. Hey, Max. FYI, I just used the last of your... Shampoo. Hey, who's this? Good night. You know what? Whoops. I, I should have told you that we weren't alone. I'm really trying not to be that rude anymore. Um, Nathan, this is Levi. Levi, this is Nathan. And that's my shampoo. Oh, dude. Sorry. It's probably for the best, though. This brand's full of parabens. I can send you a list of some more responsible ones. Yeah, no, thanks. I'm good. You might be, but the chemicals in that shampoo make the earth weep. You're not going to recycle that? I'm sorry, how do you know this guy? Oh, Levi and I met on my trip. I was on my way to volunteer in the Philippines. The place got hit pretty hard by the typhoon. I convinced Max to join me. Really? You volunteer for disaster relief? I did. And it was really rewarding. Mate, you should try it sometime. Spending a few months abroad. Yeah, how do you know I haven't? Oh, I'm not talking about vacations and stuff. I mean, actually getting your hands dirty, digging out a collapsed building, or washing oil off a baby puffin. You're not just helping others, you're helping yourself too. <laughs> 